shotgun. Looking right, has his man, Franklin Richardson, and Richardson spun out of bounds. And St. Thomas started at their own 23. They have it first and 10 at their 46. Seven-man front for Columbus. O'Corn on the option. Keeps it. Bounces off the head. Still on his feet. Pass midfield. Got a great block. Plenty of room. 30, 25, and down to the 20-yard line. What a run by John O'Corn. We told you he could run it. That's a pickup of 34 yards. That is a terrific individual play. If you're Columbus, you could not defense this any better. They blow up the end man on the line of scrimmage right there. Force him wide. All you can do is wrap him up, but they don't. They go for the big shot. And O'Corn doing what uh, I haven't seen a St. Thomas quarterback do in a long time. And that's O'Corn rolling right. Has a man, and that is complete down at the 16 yard line. What a catch. Franklin Richardson extending and hauled it in. I was watching the receivers before the game down on the field because it's always fun to watch St. Thomas because they're coached by Chris Carter, who should be in the Hall of Fame. So you know these guys know how to go out and get it. Just a little simple rollout. And watch him keep that. He only needs one foot in. There it is. He gets both of them in, it looked like to me. An excellent throw. He threw it away from the defender. For John O'Corn and the Raiders of St. Thomas Aquinas O'Corn in trouble, trying to dance away. Oh, he's way back in his own territory. Penalty marker down. What a block by Coppin! And O'Corn still motoring all the way back to the 31-yard line. I want to take it. plays a 52-yard reception for his team and then a big fumble against his club. And that ball is complete. It's Coppin to the end zone. For the year in Arkansas a year ago. Good protection. And watch him drop it right over the defender's hand. Excellent throw right there from O'Corn. And there, ooh, he stepped out at the 11. Oh, he did. Two, they have the ball at the three-yard line. O'Corn keeps it, gets the touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. And St. Thomas very quickly takes the lead back from Columbus. Just go right up the middle. See right here, he quick snaps it. And really did. Nobody in the middle of the field. Nobody even sees him with the ball. Easy touchdown for St. Thomas. Watch it real quick. Bam. Touchdown. When it comes to district play in the playoff time, you got to cut those out. First down and 15. London stays in the block and throws a good one. And O'Corn also throws a good one. Complete to Corey Holmes down at the 34-yard line. The six foot three junior reached high into the year and came down with a sparkling catch. That was a great catch. And, and watch it, O'Corn right here. Put it in a, the only place he could really catch it. Good protection. Good job by Coppett picking it up. He throws it up there in between four defenders. Okay, four guys. Excellent hands. Oh, Corn shows nice touch. And Freddie Corey Holmes has a 30 inch vertical leap in great hands. Rocco, his brother, I know, has been well schooled. On second down and score, that's a first down gain. Mark Barr is wide to the right, and they're going to keep it on the ground. It's O'Corn breaking three. O'Corn inside the 20. Still going. Brought down at the 15 yard line by Jesus Wilson. What a run for John O'Corn. That was a surprise. A 38 yard quarterback keeper. Well, Calvin Bruton, number 24, frees it right here. He's the safety. See him right here. He's going to come into the play. And he, does, he gets shielded by the umpire, overruns it, and O'Corn makes him play. I was talking about the safety cheating up. Maybe that's a pass coverage, but this time, safety. O'Corn able to keep his balance. First and 10 for the 15. O'Corn throwing, has a man, and that is complete to Franklin Richardson. Richardson has shown some of that strength tonight. Bounces outside. O'Corn to the end zone for a touchdown. John O'Corn with his second touchdown run of the game. That's a big answer drive and score for St. Thomas Aquinas. He took batters into his own hands. That was all O'Corn. It was stuffed at the point of attack. They keep going back to that center quarterback sneak. He bounces outside and just makes something out of nothing. And a great effort by the senior quarterback. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and O'Corn with his second touchdown run in the red zone. 
And a nice impromptu. Wasn't there up the middle, so he just peeled it to the outside and found the end zone. That's one of those times where you BYOB, be your own blocker, and just make something out of nothing. And of course, his size and the way he throws the football, and it's been their most effective run play for most of the night. He's got two touchdowns rushing. That was a game of six. He keeps it again, gets the first down, gets the touchdown! John O'Corn with his third rushing touchdown of the night. And St. Thomas Aquinas has come from 11 down here in the second half, and they, St. Thomas is back on top. All right, freeze it right there. That end has to stay wide. When he misses that tackle, because that's who the quarterback is reading, he's now into the secondary, splits the defenders, and gets up the field for a touchdown. Guys just hitting him, not wrapping him up, not being disciplined. And four, with 8-12 left in the fourth quarter, O'Corn out of the gun. Sets up the screen, complete copy. 15, 10, 5, touchdown St. Thomas. The Raiders with 20 unanswered points. That was a beautiful play. Well designed. Uh, he goes to block the end man on the line of scrimmage, and there he goes. He lets him come free, and the back is out in the flat all by himself. And look at the lineman out there. Well, they don't have anybody to block. I mean, that is a perfectly executed play. Uh, St. Thomas wants to run the ball and run the clock down to five minutes left. They're going to throw it and complete it. Nice strike. O'Corn to Mark Barr, and Barr gets into Columbus territory to the 48-yard line. That was surprising when you thought they'd try to run it. O'Corn dials up Barr for a 19-yard game. Mark Barr, the fastest receiver for John O'Corn, and that was a gutsy call, but it came up well. Well, O'Corn does a good job of throwing the slant on time. The linebacker got pulled out by the swing route, and the coach for the UCLA football Bruins. Second and a long 10. This one is complete to Durrell. He's still on his feet. Durrell finally pulled down on the 25-yard line. First catch of the day for a guy who could be bound for the Ivy League. Chandler Durrell, he picks up 24 yards and a crucial first down. Oh, good call. Now watch right here. He's just going to swing out, freeze it real quick. See the linebacker? He dropped because the slant had hit here before. So the quarterback, O'Corn, reads the outside linebacker. He drops it this time. He goes to the swing, and then Durrell makes something out of nothing right there in contact. Barr and Holmes to the right. The fake to top it. O'Corn, nice throw and a nifty catch by Corey Holmes for a first down at the 10-yard line. They did amazing how the receivers are now all making the catches and they're making the plays for their quarterback. Had a couple of drops early in the game, but good job O'Corn here. Just hanging, 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 wait for somebody to come open and then let it go at the end. Pick it up the first.